welcome to another video of our course about um, checking fixtures so in this video we will be discussing about the clamps or the fixture clamps okay so let's see the points that we are going to cover here so again we will start with introduction about what are these clamps how they function and then we will discuss about the toggle clamps which is uh, most widely used or basically it is the uh, only clamp that is used in our checking fixtures and also why there is the need of these fixtures why do we actually need them and lastly we will discuss about the different types of toggle clamps okay let's start with the introduction now uh, toggle clamps are mainly used to keep the workpiece or the part stationary while in quality inspection or any other operation the required force can be achieved by its linkage mechanism and required height is achieved by fitting riser for the clamp base okay so uh, by this time you are very much familiar with the checking fixture what is the purpose of a checking fixture so if you look at the fixture here okay so this is the fixture or you can see the gauge here um, the part also uh, might must be a uh, sheet metal let's say and its shape should be like this the surface of the sheet metal should be like this similar to this one it would um, you will simply place it over here okay you will place the part uh, which is to be checked or inspected uh, over here and then uh, what next okay the part still can move uh, in this direction they can uh, rub on this fixture okay so for that purpose we need these uh, clamps or toggle clamps so basically you push this lever here and it will push down onto the part just it is just like uh, holding a piece of paper by using paper weights okay just the paper weights here is the toggle clamp which will press down the workpiece on our fixture similarly here and again you cannot simply use just a single fixture you need to restrict the motion in every possible way so you need multiple fixtures for one part on a fixture or on checking fixture so multiple clamps are to be needed clamping locations are basically specified in the gtnt drawing itself if not then we have to decide the part clamping at suitable position not like i was saying we don't all uh, uh, you it cannot be done with the use of single clamp okay so we need multiple clamps and they are to be cleverly positioned uh, such that they restrict the motion in every possible way so that the part doesn't move at all with respect to the fixture so uh, most of the time these locations for the toggle clamps or the clamping mechanisms or the location of this clamp is specified in the 2d drawing itself that is provided okay so we mentioned it during the designing phase itself uh, what are the points where the clamping is to be done okay or the these clamps are to be installed if not uh, like if the if it is not mentioned in a in the 2d drawing or the gdnt drawing then we have to decide the part clamping at the suitable position that is you can do that practically after the fixture is made because these clamps are basically a part that you buy okay you don't manufacture these clamps they are a ready-made part you just need to have a slot or to just install them by the means of nut and bolts so you can install them accordingly uh, when you are when you have the fixture ready and when you are installing the part for the inspection so these are the two ways in which you can decide the clamping location so this was about the clamps